We have new developments today surrounding a 14-year-old inventor. He's getting ready to visit the White House at President Obama's invitation. Yet the teen remains suspended from school. Those two extremes came about for the same reason. The Muslim boy showed up to class with an alarm clock that he built. Mark Strassman reports from the MacArthur High School in Irving, Texas, on the online outrage over the boy's teacher's reaction. I made it to impress my teachers first week of school trying to start new with them and showing I have a passion for engineering. Ahmed Mohammed says in less than 20 minutes at home, he made this alarm clock from a circuit board stuffed into a pencil case. But when the device beat during his English class, his teacher got alarmed. The high school freshman was taken away by police in front of classmates, accused of building a hoax bomb. Did you feel profiled from start to finish? I just felt like I was a criminal. I was profiled as a, a terrorist. I was just innocent person, normal kid, stray student. This photo of Muhammad wearing a NASA t-shirt touched a nerve on social media. Supporters began posting photos of themselves with clocks. At one point, more than 2,000 tweets per minute were sent using the hashtag, I stand with Ahmed. President Obama tweeted, cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? We should inspire more kids like you to like science. White House spokesman Josh Earnett said some of Muhammad's teachers had failed him. It's not too late for all of us to use this as a teachable moment and to search our own conscience for biases in whatever form they take. District officials insist they were trying to protect all students. Police denied bias against Muslims was a factor. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to schools. Of course we've seen across our country horrific things happen. We have to err on the side of caution. Uh, the reaction would have been the same regardless. On Wednesday, Muhammad was also invited to visit NASA, MIT, Google, and Facebook. Its CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, wrote, Ahmed, I'd love to meet you. Keep building. I didn't think I was going to get any supporters because I was Muslim, and I didn't think anyone would care about that. And now you have all the support. I have so many supporters. Thank you guys so much. As you heard in the story, this controversy has been very hot on social media. It was the number one trending topic in the U.S. on Twitter for most of yesterday, with nearly one million tweets, many critical of the school district and police.